why did, why did you become an entrepreneur? Why did I become an entrepreneur? Yeah. After working in uh, other people's shops, and uh, it was my dream to own my own. I felt like I could take care of my family better if I had my own business. Okay, do you believe entrepreneurs are born or made? I, 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 I can look at that from both standpoints, but my belief, the question is, do I believe they're born or made? I think they're yeah, born. Why? Because leaders are born. Nobody makes a leader. Think okay. uh, where did you get your business idea? Um, to watch it, everybody Marketing strategy. My marketing strategy right now is to have something on, up on not just for social media, but to do some things on the television commercials. Um, passing out flyers and cards are good, but my marketing strategy mainly is right now um, with television and social media. That's great for a business that I'm in. Um, that's what I'm doing for marketing. Okay, how did you finance your business? Out of pocket, out of did you write a business plan? Uh, a couple of times I did it. I wrote, wrote down the plan, the vision, according to the text. I write the vision and make it plain. I wanted to write down my vision, look at it, and uh, pretty much I tried to get closer to the possible to it in the early years. What has been your biggest challenge as an entrepreneur? Finding good help. Okay. Um, what do you recommend that an aspiring entrepreneur do to better prepare for an actual entrepreneurship? Um, first of all, uh, uh, consider uh, what, what, whatever business that you're going in, make sure that you do a whole lot of do a lot of homework. And why did you select it? Legal structure. Legal structure. I think you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to make sure you're a lawyer. But you also want to make sure that you protect yourself good insurance. Make sure you have a good law, a good lawyer, and try to get you an LLC. On intellectual property such as patents, trademarks, copyrights, or trade secrets? Not the present time, no. Do you have business partners and how did you find them? No. I'm a sole proprietorship. What are your future plans for your business? To grow to a dozen, um, at least three more barbershops that I have one in every city, Suffolk, Norfolk, uh, and, and uh, hopefully I can have one in one in Okay. Have you experienced any discrimination or prejudice as an entrepreneur? Of course. Where? In Chesapeake. Uh, I was I was tight.
side of the Why did you want to open up a shop as opposed to working in another shop where you only had to pay blueprint instead of paying rent? Well, I did that, and that's why I learned that, that uh, I was just uh, uh, I was there and I was there to be trained like at times you put the business before your family? Yes, I did. Um, there have been times where I thought I sacrificed my family for the business um, because I should have paid more attention to like, everything while my children were growing up. But I was just moving the money by the money. I kept on making money and I thought as uh, long as I made money and paid the bills, everything was fine. So I was just wrapped and tied up in my business. You had the choice, would you choose marriage or success? <laughs> Thank you. 
How did you promote your first barber shop? My first barber shop got this great promotion. Really, it's my word of mouth. Just nothing, no flyers, no cards, it really didn't hand down. It was just word of mouth. And then I went to the side of the site, and I had a large talked about that you feel that you're successful. Okay, um, you feel that you're successful. What do you think, um, well, what is your definition of success peace. in general? Peace. If you have a peace of mind, you can able to the work, pay your bills, you have a thriving business, you're able to keep your overhead up, and uh, it is your business that you started from ground up, I think that's the most successful thing in the world that you're able to pay your bills and to take care of your family and to have a peace of mind. That's the sweet smell of success. If you could do it all over again, starting from the first barbershop, Liberty Cuts, would you do it differently? Of course I would. Hindsight teaches you that you would do it entirely differently. Um, but I would do a, a lot of different marketing things and I would. Uh, do more things as far as um, how to strategize the whole business, the whole layout. Over the years, you have seen businesses like yours start and fail. Why yeah. do you think they fell off while you continue to climb? Well, one of the reasons is, again, good help. Um, when you start relying on other people to make your business grow and make your business successful, um, you don't expect um, you don't expect it to last. Other thing is the longevity of a business is is is, is on the it's on the uh, it's on the ownership. It's not just you know with the people that you're going to hire to go along with you. It's where he or she is at the time, mentally, physically, spiritually. Because a lot of times business can go down for a whole lot of different reasons. That's not for finances. Somebody could have got sick. Somebody could something could have happened to cause your business to go out. That's why. It's vitally important that you take care of yourself and uh, do some strategies and some planning to make sure that if, if, if you can't carry your business, who's in line to make sure that your business is going to continue to go on. When you said that made me think of something else, do you think it is a good idea or a bad idea to start a new business with family? A new business with family meaning what, your children? Uh, anybody in your family. Like, say, uh, I wanted to open up a restaurant and I decided that I wanted to have my brother as my manager, my father working in the kitchen. If I, do you think that would be a good idea to start a new business with family, with all the stress that comes with new business? And well, it's going to be a whole lot of stressful, uh, a whole lot of stressful events. And sometimes when you bring family in, that's when you're going to find out that you're going to family going to break down. And so, we, the tightest family, the closest family, going to always have fights. So, and, and if you ever want to see some real stress go down when bills have to be paid and things aren't going along in the business, uh, it can really be very dogmatic. So you want to watch it when you um, talk about bringing family in and doing things. My, my, my opinion, uh, restaurant or anything, I always tell people, rely on yourself because anything goes down, it's on you and you don't have nobody else to blame. All right, thank you.